Shadow Wall. First and foremost, want to give all praise, glory, honor, do it to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Okakwadas. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <coughs> Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Uh, also to the few sisters out there that are listening and learning and to the scattered lit that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, repenting, coming back to the ways of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Kakadash. To you, I give a sincere shout of one. Coming back at you with another lesson. Uh, I don't have a title to this lesson yet, but uh, when I do, I'll make sure that I'll put it in. At the end, you know, of this lesson, and uh, basically, you know, today I thought this morning about, you know, how serpent, you know, he uh, deceived us, uh, Eve, you know, say in the Garden of Eden, and that serpent is not a, you know, say it's not a talking snake, you know, as a Christian would like to put it, but it, it was a man, you know. Serpent is a man, you know what I'm saying, that he had, um, you know, he basically was uh, practicing witchcraft. And what I mean by that, he had deceived Eve, you know, to believe that, you know, if there was another way that was better than Yahweh Bashem out shot. And what he did was he basically had Eve to believe that the way of Yahweh Bashem out shot and what was being taught, you know, to her, you know, passed out from the most out of Adam, you know, the way of righteousness. She, she you know, she was told, basically told by a serpent in so many words that that way is, is oppressing, you know, and that way is boring. You know, you're not allowed to have no type of freedom. You're not allowed, you know, to think for yourself. You're not, you're not allowed to be independent. You have to be on the, you have to be in order. You have to be on the man. And he basically told her that that way is poor. He, I can offer you something that is better than what the most high can produce. And he basically told her that the way that I can offer is that you can be independent, you can be your own woman, you, you, you don't need a man, you can make your own decisions, you're not going to be oppressed, you're not going to be depressed, you know what I'm saying, you, you can uh, have any man you want, you know, you, know, you ain't got to you ain't gotta listen to them, you ain't gotta follow their rules. You can do whatever you wanna do. And uh and truly he really believed and she wanted the way that the serpent had for her. And you see the result of that in you know in today's time period. And who was that serpent? And you look at it now, that serpent. Uh, Esau eating, you know, so called white man, because he, because, you know, he, he's known as the serpent. You know, you can get that book of Revelation, you know, he's called a red dragon, he also, he's called a serpent. Um, you can see the qualities of what he possessed today, he read Genesis, the third chapter, you know what I'm saying, and, and it goes into a house cunning. You know the serpent is, and it cut, and, and you know how sneaky, how crafty, you know the serpent is, and, and what the serpent does, he has, you know, he has you to believe that the ways of your how about him out shot is boring, and uh, you know, it, you know what I'm saying. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't profit you anything. Just like he would tell the Eve in the Garden of Eden. You know, he told her that, you know, you eat of, you know, this big fruit, which is this, you know, these philosophies that are contrary to Yahweh Shah. You know, and, 
know, he told uh, Eve in the garden, and he said, ye, ye should not surely die. He said, bro, you eat of this philosophy, your eyes gonna be as open, and you gonna be a God knowing good and evil. You know, which, you know, he did tell the truth about that. But he, but he lied also about that she wasn't gonna die. So, you know, he being, you know, the weaker vessel according to the scriptures, she, she believed what the serpent had to say. And she particular for being fruit, which is, you know, philosophies that are uh, not, con that, that are contrary to the scriptures. And what happened? Well, you see what's going on today. You know, you, you have, uh, you have a rebellion. You have, you know, people of the world. You know, they hate order. Particularly, particularly Eve, the woman. She definitely hates order. And when you teach about order, and when you teach uh, of the ways of Yah by Shem Al Shah, according to the scriptures, who, who's the main person that pulls up against order? You know, the woman. You know, the woman does. Particularly, you know so-called black woman she definitely rebels against order and you see that going on today you know you can see that going on with you know with a lot of things particularly you know a woman when she has a baby she said she has this slogan my body my choice i can do whatever i want if i don't want this you know this child i can go to the clinic and i can abort this baby you know, they had a mindset of my body, my choice. You know, I can do whatever it is that I want to do. And, and nobody can't tell me what to do with my body. You know, you have all these things that go on today. All this rebellion against your how about Shem Al Shah. You see, you can see it on on, on, a, uh, on a grand level. Uh, the rebellion that, that goes on against your how about Shem Al Shah. So this, this is nothing new, you know what I'm saying? This is not a secret. You know, this is a mindset on which you have to deal with, you know, on, on an everyday basis because of, you know, he allowed the serpent to trick her in the garden. But you know what I'm saying? But we know as it goes on down to Genesis, the third chapter, she gave, uh, you know, that same philosophy that uh, the serpent gave her, she passed, she gave it to Adam. And, and guess what? You know what I'm saying? That's why you have sin in the world today. Because, you know, they forsook the ways of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And they took on the, they took on the philosophy that the serpent gave them. And you can see that same philosophy today and how, you know, Esau eat them. You know, he used lies, he uses uh, trickery, he's he, he very cunning in the way that he presents things, look how he presents, you know, he's he going to present the M.O.T. to the beat, you know what I'm saying, he's going to make it seem like that, uh, you know, this is going to benefit you, you know what I'm saying, we are trying, you know, they are, you know, working on, you know, immortality on the left hand side. With immortality by way of going to give it to Jacob, but they're going to present it, you know, to a point that you ain't got to worry about dying. You know what I'm saying? You can live forever. You don't need the Savior to uh, live forever. You know, we can do it, you know, through our pseudoscience and technology. You know, the devil is very cunning. And Sam, you know, he needs he, uh, very deceptive. You know, just like he deceived. You know, Eve in the Garden of Eden. You know, he, you know, you see that same, uh, the same sentiment that's going on today. You see that, uh, you know, uh, people are going to be deceived by that. You know, cause they gonna think that, you know, taking this uh, technology, you know, and taking the MOT to the beat is gonna make their lives better. But what did Revelation? the 14th chapter say, you know, verse 9 and 10, he said, any man that takes, you know, the M.O.T. to the beat, 
Odyssey, man. You know what I'm saying? You 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 gonna be fed with that with that uh that torment. You know, you're gonna be fed with you know, you're gonna be fed with the ICBMs. You know, once you take take the C man, you know, once you take that that, that C man, um, you know what I'm saying, you pledge your allegiance to this kind of uh serpent, which is East How Eden, so called white man. Listen to his philosophy, thinking that there's a better way than the way of Yahweh by Shem Al You're gonna find yourselves on the losing end of that battle, and this is the time period that we're coming into because we're gonna come to the point when the devil comes down with great wrath. You, you're gonna you're gonna have to make a choice, and. A lot, of, a lot of people are going to make the choice to take the MOT to the B. You know, majority of the world is going to take, take the MOT to the B because majority of the world uh, doesn't see anything past this, this man's rulership. You know, because he has, you know, went out and he deceived the nation, man. You can read that in Revelation. In Revelation. I believe it's the... Uh, I believe it's the uh, maybe the twelfth chapter, uh, the eleven or twelfth chapter. You know, brothers could correct me on that. You know, I'm driving right now, so I ain't got no, I ain't got scriptures in front of me. But that was it, though. He went out and he deceived the nations. You know, what I'm saying, he, you know, how he deceived them through his lies, through his cunning, crafting, cunning ways, through craftiness, like, like he did Eve in the Garden of Eden. You know, he, you know, he lied to her. He, he, he use a uh, he use a uh, guy. He use a uh, you know he used to see having Eve to believe that um, you know what I'm saying that you take take a his way is better. And there's like there's like uh, in the God of V when he told me you, you take the, the way that I give you is better. You know this same seven he's gonna do, he's gonna put the 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 same playbook. He's gonna pull that same playbook. He's gonna have you to believe that you know you take you know the the uh, C man. You know you take that C man. It, it's gonna give you immortality. It's gonna give you this. It's gonna give you that. You ain't got to worry about you know this particular thing, that particular thing. You ain't got to worry about this. You ain't got to worry about that. But you know what I'm saying, at the end of it all, you know, you, you're gonna wind up being deceived. That's what that's what uh, I'm trying to get you. You're gonna wind up being deceived. You're gonna, you know, you know, serpent serpent is lying to you. And and he's going and he's gonna present it as though it's something good. And and you know the way of Yah by Shem Al Shah, you know, to these people and particularly to uh, to uh, E man, you know it, it you know what he saw him, you know they look at that as something evil. So that's the reason why you got to, you know, stay grounded, stay rooted in your heart by Shem Al Shah, because the devil is, is going to come down with great wrath, and, he, and he's going to make it seem as though the way that he present is going to be better. In the way of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You know, just like I said, just like he told, showed that the even the guards were eating, you, you seeing that now. You seeing that played out. You seeing, you know, it, it, you know all these prophecies come to pass. You know, you, you seeing the devil, you know, he pushing his agenda more and more to make it seem as though that the way that he has is better than the way that Yahweh by Shem Al Shah has. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay, uh, stay circumspect. You know? Because this is what the devil is out to do. You know, he, he you know what I'm saying? He, he, he's out trying to deceive the nations. You know, which he have done. You know, through his lies, through, you know, through the media. You know, through his, uh, uh, you know, able to manipulate the story. To make it seem like, you know that you're the bad guy, you're the enemy, 
You know what I'm saying? He, he makes it seem like you're crazy. You know, so on and so forth. And he really going to deem the Israelites, you know, as terrorists, you know, as a hate group, which he's already doing anyway. He uses sleeper cells to try to disrupt the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. He's trying to, uh, you know what I'm saying, get the ministry blamed, you know, and all these things. But at the end of it all, you know, the devil, the devil is going to lose. And, and, he, and when he loses, he, he's going to lose at a, at a very uh, high rate, man. He, he, he's going to lose. And he's going to lose. He's going to lose horribly. And, and that's the time that we're coming into. The devil's going to lose, man. And, and, and you think... Uh, uh, you think he lose his mind now? But really and truly, he's really he lose his mind because uh, all his deception, you know what I'm saying, is being picked apart by the men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? By the men of the Lord that's in the spirit of empower Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? They even tell him what he's going to do, you know, through the spirit, you know, before he does it. You know? Why? Because of because they had spirit power, you have a bunch of out shock. And, and all the craftiness and all the lies and all the deception that the devil is trying to do, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to work. What does the scripture say? The scripture says, stand now, you know, and, you know, roughly paraphrase, stand now with our uh, sorceries and our, you know, month with our prognosticators, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And the devil using heavy witchcraft and heavy sorcery on the left hand side to try to keep their kingdom afloat. But we what we see through the spirit that they did not work, man. But but you know, in, in past time that it, it did work. You know what I'm saying? Because the most high you have by Shim Al Shah allowed the devil to to do what he do. You know, because he had he had to have his time to rule. And now you see that the devil's time is coming to an end. And, 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 and he sees that uh, his sorceries and the things that he that he used to deceive the nations, you know, particularly the, the Israelites, he sees now that, that uh, people are waking up to what he's doing. And they and they questioning what he's doing and he's being called out on the wickedness that he's doing being called out on it and so now only thing that, that left that what the devil gonna have to do he gonna have to come down with that sword he, 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 he's gonna come down with great wrath as the scriptures say you know because he has what a short time well we know the scriptures say that uh you know um you know he, you know, uh, he, you know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to disappoint the, the the devices of the crafty. You know, he's going to disappoint their works. He's going to disappoint what they're trying to do. And what they're trying to do, they, they're trying to they trying to make themselves, you know, be the Most High. Because the uh, scriptures say, you know, roughly paraphrase, he's sitting in the temple. You know, claim himself to be the most high. You know, that, that's that the devil end, end all be all. He, he wants to be the most high. And that's the reason why he pushing immortality. You know, he pushing immortality on the left hand side. That's the reason why he's trying to get, you know, everybody to take, you know, take the C man. You know what I'm saying? Be plugged into the MOT to the B. You know, he's trying to merge or he's trying to leak you, you know man with machine you know what I'm saying he's you know he you know he's talking about immortality you know what I'm saying you know he wants to, he wants to, uh he wants the birthright back that, and that's what this whole thing is about if you look at it, this this man wants the birthright back you know even though the scriptures say that the birthright was going to Jacob anyway you know the birthright was given to Jacob anyway but you know, but y'all about Shim Al Shah a little controversy. That's why he allowed Esau to be the firstborn. And Jacob, you know, was you know, 
you know, was the younger brother. But we know it's good to say, you know, the birthright would be the best of one of Jacob anyway. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, though, you see that the man's going to use all types of witchcraft, he used all types of sorceries, he used all types of deception to have you to believe, you know, that he was, you know, robbed out of his uh, birthright, robbed out of his blessing. So that's really why you're going to see uh, Esau come, comes with, come with the, uh, excuse me, he's going to come with all types of, uh, you know, sorceries, all types of, you know, wickedness to have you to believe that the Israelites are the ones that, uh, that are, you know what I'm saying, they are the uh, bad guys, the Israelites are the ones that uh, caused all this controversy and everything else because what they're trying to do is that they, they're trying to take the heat off themselves. They, they, and what they really trying to do, they really trying to avoid they, uh, they judgment, you know, for your by Shem Al Shah. And they know that they have a heavy judgment coming up. They, they know that they do. That's the reason why, you know, these devils are running. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why they, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they, have, they have a heavy judgment. You know what I'm saying? And, and they know they do that. Really, why they running, they, they scared. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they call upon, you know, you know, these spirits, the of these spirits. That's why you, you heard talks about CERN. You know what I'm saying? He, Elon Musk, he said that he used the AI to try to control up demons. These devils are on the roof, man. They lose You know what I'm saying? They're losing. That's the reason why, you know, those who are uh, finding the ways that you how about Shim Al Shah, you know what I'm saying, you part of the event, you know, you gotta stay diligent. You know what I'm saying? Stay diligent in the words of Yah about Shim Al Shah. Because we know that the devil's going down. And he knows that he's going down. And you're gonna see the devil going to do everything that he can. everything that he can, you know, to try to keep his kingdom afloat, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, and that means that he's going to have to come down with that sword, he's going to come down with the sea man, he's going to come down with every way that he can to try to keep his kingdom afloat, but you know what I'm saying, he's going to fail miserably, how we, how we read to you in, uh, I believe Job 14 and 5 that he's going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. You see, because why? Because, because he's not going to win. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to make sure that the devil doesn't win. You know what I'm saying? He, he go, he's going to make sure of that. Oh, shit. That's so lucky. He, he see the, his deception and everything that he's trying to do. He see that it, 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 it's not it's, it's not going to work for his benefit. He knows that it's not going to work for his benefit. Uh, uh, so I can, uh, uh, yeah, you know, driving driving to the plantation this morning. So so I can, you know, I've been all over the place. But you see that the devil gonna come with that deception well he's coming with that deception and and, and he's gonna lie on the Israelites he's gonna lie on the elect you know what I'm saying you, you know what I'm saying what did uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 say you know what I'm saying so he's gonna accuse us before Yahweh about him outside day and night meaning that he's gonna make it lies up he's gonna make it seem as though that that they justify what they doing because, you know what I'm saying, we broke the law, statute, commandment. We know how that's going to go. But that's a lot for that. It's uh, Job 5 and 
12, it reads, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. And, and these devils are getting frustrated because uh, they, they see that their time is short. And he's going to uh, disappoint them in, the, in, in that, you know, he's going to disappoint their devices. Mean that he know he not gonna allow a new world order to get off the ground, man. You know, because another scripture said that you know he gonna cast his, cast his wrath upon them while they eat. You know, they think they gonna have everything in place. They gonna they gonna uh have you know pretty much the whole world you know having to see, man. And they think that that uh they they got everything under control. But you know, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah gonna cast his wrath upon them. You know, this is verse 13. This is Joel 5 and 13, and it reads, He take the wise in their own craftiness, and he counsel the for the forward is carry headlong. So so he going to uh, he taking them in their own craftiness. He allowed, as it said in uh Psalm 64 and 8, he allowed their own tongue to fall upon themselves, man. You know, he, he, he allowed them to, 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 to uh, tell on themselves. He allowed their own counsel to make them look foolish, man. You know, he, you know, they they tell it on their own selves. And they do it on an everyday basis. If, you, if you're in the spirit, if you pay attention. You need devils to tell on their own self. You know, what I'm saying? that that read why read Joel five twelve. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that the hand cannot perform the enterprise, I meaning that they, they, uh, they, they're not they're not going to win. At the end of the day, they don't think they won. They think they going to have everything under control. The Abbas Shem Al Shah is going to disappoint them, man. He, he, he's going to take down their system. And then you had these other nations, in, you know, believe that once America go down, you know, Babylon the Great. They believe they're going to be next to rulership. But guess what? They're going to be disappointed too. You know, they, you know, they're going to be disappointed. They're going to realize that they, they ain't got next to rulership. You know what I'm saying? You, you have uh, China believe that they're going to be next to rulership. That they're going to be the next superpower. Nope. The next superpower is going to be the Israelites under, under your how about Shem Al Shah. You know? It, you know, these nations think they gonna have this out of America, Babylon, the Reagan gonna go down. Nope. The Israelites gonna be next. And this is uh Job 14 and 5 it says, saying his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his mouth that he cannot pass. So the devil has a certain time period to try to accomplish his goals and he knows that he only has a short time. And he has a bound that he cannot pass. Just like all the other kingdoms, they got set up, they had their time to rule. And get what you how about Shim Al Shah took them out of power, man. You know what I'm saying? You the other nations to take them out of power. And you know, the next nation they rule. Just, I'm just gonna say like just like the Bab just like the Babylonians. You know, they had a particular time to rule. And then uh Yah about Shim Al Shah allowed the Persian and Medes to take them down. You know, the Persians and the Medes, had, you know, they got set up, they had their time to rule. Then the most, then Yahweh Hashem Al Shah had set up the Greeks to take them down. You know, the Greeks had their time to rule, they got set up, they had their time to rule. And get what? Yahweh Hashem Al Shah used the Romans to take them down. And, um, you know, the, the Romans, they, they got set up, they had their time to rule. And then you, the most high, you know, you, he used the Israelites. Even though they want, you know, they they want, you know, in righteousness, he used those Israelites to take them down. You know, so you know, so uh, they can rule. You know, the Israelites, you know, which they call the Dark Age, they ruled for a thousand years. And after then, you know, the Renaissance period, you know, Yah Bashem Al Shala allowed the Israelites to come back into power, and, and, and you know, and they rule right to this day. Man. But at the end, but the end of it all, at the end of it all, you know, once they beat their, uh, they bound, then y'all, then y'all, Shah, he 
you're going to send the son of your house child along with the angels to take these devils down. And then the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. And the Israelites going to be in rulership. But once the Israelites be in rulership, then their rulership is going to be forever. They're they going to have forever rulership. And, and, no, and, no, and no other nation is going to be Going to, going to take them down because once the Israelites rule, there's not going to be any more war. You know, there's it, not going to be any more passing of the baton because Israel, Israel was meant to rule from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but uh, we, we sinned against Yahweh by Shem Al Shah and, and, we, and we broke the covenant. That's the reason why we are in the state that we in. And then, you, and then you look at it, we had, when you go back to Genesis, the third chapter, you know, I was talking about earlier, you know, um, the serpent used, uh, he, he used guile and he used deception to deceive Eve, even though they, you know, they was given, they were grieving to read the breath of life, they were given the ways of Yah by Shem Al Shah, she was giving their way to, to uh, you know, by, you know, by Adam. You know, she was told the way. You know, she was taught the ways of Yah by Shem Al Shah by Adam how to take care of the earth and what to do and what not to do. You know, she was given the way, but you know, Serpent uh, basically beguiled her and told her he know a better way than the way that she was taught, and, and she believed it, and, and, and she took on that way. And look what got look what got her today. Look what got you know. The, the people today, look what we got the women today. We got these women are, are, uh, are depressed. You know, you had them, you know, going from man to man to man to man. You know what I'm saying? Even though they both be a spouse to one husband to one man. But these, but these people, when these women are uh, saying that their way is boring. Look how much wickedness in the world because of that deception, man. You know what I'm saying? Look how much wickedness that goes on in the world. But nevertheless, though, uh, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, he's going to take the devil down and he's going to put everything back in order, man. You know, but I'm finna, you know, do spirit and go ahead and end the lesson here. It's a lot for being all over the place. Uh, you see the, the uh, deception that goes on. So we got to stay prayed up. We got to stay circumspect. We got to call on the names of Yah, Bashem, Al Shah. You know, repent. You know, pray daily. Ask Yah, Bashem, Al Shah to keep you in the way. You know what I'm saying? Have a mindset to do the work He has for you to do. You know, basically stay faithful and true to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah because Scripture say he that do it to the end, you know, the same shall be saved. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh by Shem Al Shah by Shem Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and hell's a great millstone. I never spent to the girls teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing, shout a warm, a bop a ball. Come on, we got Shalom.